coastal prairie, and salt marsh at the East End Lagoon. Trees were scarce on Galveston Island at the time of settlement. In fact, only one stand of trees, known as the Three Trees, broke the monotony of the endless coastal prairie and salt marshes. At first glance, the preserve might seem like a flat, featureless landscape. However, if you take a closer look, you will find a richly diverse ecosystem. The surrounding land offers a fascinating contrast to the waters of the lagoon. A number of species around the lagoon are grassland or marsh specialists. Some are tiny and difficult to see, even with binoculars. Others, such as hawks and owls, are often seen coasting over the prairie in search of prey. Mammals are scarce, but coyotes and raccoons, along with a variety of rodents, proliferate in these habitats. The flute-like song of the eastern meadowlark is one of the characteristic sounds of the coastal prairie. This bird often sings from perches at the highest points on the prairie. The citrine forktail is a type of damselfly that is difficult to see as it floats along the prairie and marsh grasses. This forktail is the smallest damselfly in North America. America, yet it prospers in the windswept, oft-flooded coastal prairies. The American bittern is a wading bird in the heron family, usually found wading through the wet prairie around the lagoon. The seaside sparrow is one of the birds that is a salt marsh specialist. It thrives in the smooth cord grass that borders the lagoon. For more information on this topic or another audio guide, be sure to check out the description below.